Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to another Captain's Vlog. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I am sorry for that. I've just had some stuff um, go on in my life, and I needed some time to myself to kind of work through it. So, uh, this is hard to talk about. So, it's been about a week and a half. I believe just a little over a week and a half, or just under a week and a half, since um, my, my dog Panda passed. Um, it was actually ironically on a live stream that I found out, uh, that he was, he was, he was going to go. Um, then he went later that, that night and it was really, really hard. And it's been really, really hard for me. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to make a vlog that night, that night he passed and I got, came home. Um, it was legit. It was a con like country song, you know, type joke. Uh, my dog had just died, and the first thing I did on the way home was stop by the gas station and pick up a, f a fifth of whiskey and came home and drank myself to sleep, um, you know, with friends, and they took care of me. But I wanted to make a vlog that night to, to talk about it, to be able to vent and express my feelings and, and my hurt, but I didn't because I felt it would be wrong. Um, I was very vulnerable. I was very emotional. I was crying, and... While I'm sure that would have made for a great vlog, it felt wrong. Even though I, I want to share that kind of pain with you guys and, and let you guys see that vulnerability, it felt wrong to him to, to, to have, to possibly benefit in some way from, from his death. And so I didn't make a vlog and I waited until I was more emotionally okay where I am now to, to bring it up and to talk about it because I don't want to be one of those people that just makes a vlog whenever they're emotional and starts crying and people are like, oh, that person's sad. I'm going to watch it and it's going to get views. And, and I get, you know, that's a, that's a way of expressing yourself and venting yourself. And I, I mean, that's kind of why I do these vlogs to be able to get my emotions out. But, um, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Same reason I thought about doing a tribute video to him and at some point I still might because he was very important to me. Um, but to be honest, the main reason I didn't do that is cause I couldn't, I can't sit through all that footage, you know, videos and pictures and make an actual video out of it. You know, like it's too raw still, you know, like I'll just break down and, uh, yeah, I just can't do it, but I want to, I want to talk about, I want to talk about him a little bit. Um, because I've had him since I was 10 or 11 and, um, he was, he was the best dog. And I know everyone says that about their dog, but he was the best dog. Um, I mean, everybody loved him. Everybody loved him. His name was Panda and a little black and white Pomeranian. And he would do this thing when he licks you where he, he yanks out your hair and, um, he was always loving. He was the most kind, you know, soul I've ever, I've ever experienced in whether it was a person or an animal. He's just, he just loved everything. And I know like that's a dog, like dogs are very excited and happy and loving, but it's different, you know, like you feel it, you know, like you just, maybe it's cause he was my dog, but I don't know. Um, I miss him and you know, it's been coming. He went blind after I moved out of my mom's house and he went deaf a year later than that pretty much. And he's just been, he's, you know, 15 year old Pomeranian, like it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, there's, I mean, there's more. And like I said, I'll, I'll do a video about it at some point when I'm ready sometime soon but until then um i don't know i just want to address that that's why i haven't really been as active um as far as video making vlogs i mean streams are easy because you know i can just start them up and i can talk to you guys and do all that stuff but um i've been you know spending time on healing so i haven't really been sitting down recording and i mean having rachel as an editor has really helped tremendously because it's allowed me to still get a couple gameplays like outlast and couple narcosis out despite the fact that i haven't done anything other than 
struggle to get myself to record for 15 minutes. This is actually gonna be the first video I've edited since then, I think. But I guess my point being is like, I just wanted you guys to be aware um, of that. And I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, now that that depressing stuff is out of the way, uh, good, good news. There's good things coming up. Um, for my life and also for this channel conveniently yay so i'm going in a trip in about three weeks um actually leave on my birthday and i'm gonna be going up to the seattle portland area i say that because i'm going to both cities but um to visit my friend marcus uh, me and our friend jason are, um, are going up to visit him it's great because i haven't seen him since he moved to seattle he's one of my best friends and i really miss him and it's gonna be really really great to see him and actually get to hang out and I don't know I'm really excited I'm really excited uh I get to ride a train for the first time I'm a little nervous because I don't know what to expect but at the same time I'm really excited because from what I've heard train rides are really awesome train rides are you know like you sit there on the train and you relax and you get to actually see the scenery go by because they're going fast but you know still slow enough that you get to see like whatever's around you and they're comfortable so um, definitely better than a bus from what I've heard a little slower but better so I'm looking forward to that also just looking forward to being in Seattle and Portland anyways Seattle is one of those cities I've always wanted to visit and like I've never been to Seattle I've never been to Portland um, the extent of my knowledge on Portland is Portlandia and what hipsters say when I used to work at, uh, at the coffee shop as a barista so I didn't know anything about these places but they sound really cool and from what I heard they look really nice and I know there's a lot of YouTubers in Washington, and I know I'm not gonna like run into any of them. You, I doubt any famous YouTubers are watching this, but um, I don't know, just being in that like, I don't wanna say artsy environment, uh, but I feel like it's a lot more my vibe than Arizona might currently be. Um, same thing with LA, kind of more Washington, I think, than LA, but. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be a really cool thing. So I'm going to be recording off and on when I'm there. Um, I'm going to get a little standy thing. Not the tripod I have now, but something a little bit more malleable and portable um, to be able to do recordings while I'm up there when I have extra time. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to post the vlogs while I'm in Seattle. If not, you guys will have some regular uh, Let's Plays and stuff like that posting while I'm gone. Um, and then... A couple weeks after that, I'm going to E3 in June. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of coverage there, so look forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really nervous because I know it's a big convention expose. It's not really a convention. And, um, you know, it's not there for fans. It's there, you know, it's, it's, it's an exposition. It's there to like reveal content and have, it's a business convention, right? And they're just letting us come in, but I really want to, be able to get my hands on some some games um and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to but it's still gonna be cool just to be able to go and see what it's actually like to be at e3 so i'm really pumped for that yeah i guess that's about it for this vlog um live streams right so as far as live streaming goes i'm gonna be live streaming five days a week not monday through friday but i'm gonna be live streaming five days a week um, and those days are going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and I'm hoping to get an, uh, a graphic design so I can put it on the actual stream so it'll have the schedule listed on there. Uh, weekdays are at 4, weekends are at 7, uh, of course, Pacific time. Um, and then there's still going to be your regular daily video um, Monday through Friday. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, the days I'm not streaming, are going to have two videos. Just so you guys have that for a heads up. Um, and then on top of that, I'm just going to brush on this cause it's, we're still starting up and setting up and, you know, once we have everything in motion, I'll, I'll talk about it more, but, uh, I'm going to be starting a group collaboration with some other people. Um, another YouTuber friend of mine and, you know, some mutual friends of ours, we're going to be doing, um, a Star Wars D and D live stream, uh, every week starting sometime in June, um, it's going to be Edge of the Empire. It's really good. We already made our characters, and it's it's going to be a really good series. Um, and we're going to have more information on that later on. Um, just mention it now. 
Uh, the channel is Star Trader on YouTube. Um, that's the channel uh, I'm working with, I'm collabing with. He's newer on YouTube, um, but it's going to be a really, really good experience. So um, I'm really excited for it because I love D&D and I love Star Wars. And I'm putting them together and I love YouTube. So we're putting three things I love all together and it's going to be fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, so with that, that's going to wrap up this video today. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.